The fixer upper I remodeled is ready for your eyeballs. Hand them over. The first floor was more of a refresher upper. Refinishing these hardwood floors was so satisfying. Like opening a gift on Christmas morning with really ugly wrapping paper. The other small changes with big impacts were updating light fixtures, removing old drapes, and painting the walls. Don't worry, I've already warned my tenants moving in about the built-in. This is the built-in, it is original. If you touch it, I'll cut you. And hey, look at the leaded glass best landlord ever. Now the kitchen was super budget friendly because I kept the previous floor plan and the old cabinets. Painting them and updating the hardware made a huge difference. I also updated the sink, appliances, and countertops. So I removed the upper cabinets that used to be here, added some shiplap, and some open shelves. Definitely gives it some spaciousness that wasn't there before. Feels like putting on sweats after a long day of wearing skinny jeans. This is the first floor bathroom. I'd say we've come a long way since the sailboat days. Took a little detour. Look at how, what? The heck. But we got there. After painting the tile and updating the hardware, mirror, and light fixture, I'm super happy with this very inexpensive refresh. The two first floor bedrooms are basically identical, except this one had something special. 1970s wood paneling. It's a piece of history. That should be painted over. And painted it was. On to the second floor, which was the biggest and most rewarding project. This upstairs was completely gutted. It was only partially finished. So by reconfiguring the floor plan, I was able to maximize the space and increase the home's square footage. And that, my friends, is where the money's made. Nothing gets me more excited than finishing unfinished space, except for a Dairy Queen Blizzard, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. In case you missed it, the hallway used to be here and it was moved here, which allowed space for a den and full bathroom. Still love this exposed brick. I also utilize unfinished space here and here to make the master bedroom and closet much bigger. You got the exposed brick, right? And the second upstairs bedroom is still here, just slightly reshaped. I was super nervous to take on my first fixer upper, especially this upstairs, but it was such a good experience. This home is near Lake Michigan in a hot Milwaukee neighborhood called Bayview. I bought it for $230,000 and put just shy of $60,000 into it, which I understand is no small change, but its market value is currently at least $365,000 thanks to the added square footage and updates. That's $75,000 in equity, which I'd say was worth the work. 